everyone, in today's video, we are doing trying every milk tea at TBT. Woo! As you can see, we have Bird here because if there's anyone in the world who loves boba more than me, it's Bird. TBT is actually by the same people that made Chen Shui Tong, which is the originators of boba milk tea. So that just speaks to the quality of TBT. We only go there expecting the best. Usually we would do this in the car, but as you can see, we are not in the car. It's because in the Bay Area, it's been raining for the past like three weeks and it's like heavy rain. So if we were to film in the car while it's raining, it would just pick up all the raining noises. So we are in our home and and if you guys didn't know, we have a home now. If you want to see our updated house tour and our moving vlog, those are on my vlog channel. And without further ado, let's head to TPT. I'm sure they thought we have like a big party that we ordered for, but no, this is just for us. <laughs> All right, we have all these drinks. Look at that, a whole cart full of them. <laughs> Today, we're just doing the milk teas. And if you guys wanna see us do the rest of the menu, like the fruit teas, the matcha lattes, whatever else, they have actually quite a bit of a lot, yeah, yeah. stuff on the menu. So if you guys wanna see that, let's give this video to 8,000 likes. Don't disappoint Bird and me. <laughs> so first up, we're gonna try the Thai Tea Brulee Tornado. It looks like they have that like puff cream stuff on the outside, and then on the inside, it's a blended Thai tea drink. And then of course, we're gonna use our Feed Mei Mei glass boba straw. Take it away, bird. This is an environmentally friendly glass boba straw. It says Feed Mei Mei. I want to say. It says Feed Me Boba. Two holes, really portable, really great quality, and um, I really enjoy it. So uh, be sure to grab one today. You know, whenever you say the straws have two holes, people get all up in arms. They're saying it has one hole. No, two. Well, one hole. It can two be hole. one really long hole. Nah. Though. Comment below. Does a straw have two holes or one long hole? <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. It just tastes like Thai tea, but blended. And I like Thai tea. So I actually am a fan. Does it's it... like a nice amount of sweetness. We got 80% sweet and it's nice. It's not overly sweet. It like represents the Thai tea flavor well. I got some of the puff cream. Very like creamy, almost like a pudding, but like more so just like a very stiff whipped cream. That's like the texture of it. And it has this kind of custardy flavor. Yeah, like sugar. <laughs> Tastes good. Oh, yum. It's almost like if you went to Starbucks and you got like a, what's the things called? Frappuccino. The Frappuccinos. And then you know how sometimes the, the, you let the Frappuccino melt a little bit and it has that like texture? Mm. It, it, it's the same texture as that. Ah, me, I know? see. So since this is the first drink, we're gonna put this in first place for now. Next up, we have the Mango Passion Smoothie. And this is technically not a milk tea, but if we only had milk teas in this video, we'd only have like 12 drinks. So we just thought we'd throw the smoothie in there too. Some extra content for you guys. Ooh, this one is nice and blended, so I'm hoping for a good smoothie texture. Mm. Mm. It's like very refreshing, a summery drink, although we are in winter, winter, so not like my number one preferred drink of choice right now. You know, this actually tastes like something you can get at like Tapioca Express. Or Jamba Juice. <laughs> Like it doesn't taste like TPT tier yeah. drink. If they had like mango chunks in it, yeah, I'd maybe be like it would be more legit. Yeah. Like more like, oh, we use fresh mango and stuff. But this tastes like it could have come from a syrup. I don't know if it does, but it definitely tastes like it could have. Not bad though. So I'm not very impressed. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like when I go to TPT, I expect it to be top tier stuff. If I go to Tabio Express versus when I go to TPT, I have different expectations. Like, of course, it's not bad. I'll drink it. But is it TPT tier quality? I would have to say no. Yeah, agreed. So for this one, I'm gonna rank it second place under the Thai Tea Tornado Brulee. Me too. <clears throat> Me too. <laughs> Next up, we have the Strawberry Milk Smoothie, which we've never tried before, but we get their strawberry milk tea all the time. So I feel like this will be similar. pretty similar because their strawberry milk tea is also blended. <laughs> Excuse me. Whew. And we really like that drink. Honey. <laughs> and we really like that drink. We <laughs> mm. It's really good. Like it tastes like very fresh, pure strawberries. And the strawberry flavor is really strong too. It's like sweet, but also has the tartness from the strawberry. It kind of tastes like a strawberry yogurt smoothie. Mm, like one of those um, dandelion drinks. No, dan dandelion. Dan Danimals. Danimals. But like highest quality. It's like if 
Danimals was like the first generation of the Pokemon evolution, this would be like the final stage of the Pokemon evolution. I've never even had Danimals, so I don't even know what that tastes like. I had Gogurt. You, after my, oh, well, okay. Similar, yeah, Gogurt. I had Gogurt, I had Yoplait, strawberry, mm -hmm. you know. Tricks? No. You never had the Tricks one? My mom would only buy the big packs that they sold at Costco. Mm. And I don't think they sold the Tricks ones at Costco. So she would only buy the Yoplait, she would buy the Gogurt, because I was, what was at Costco. <laughs> that was a great, great story. <laughs> thanks, for... <laughs> thanks for sharing that. Yeah, no, this is a, this is a good drink. I'd bring this one number one for me right now. I actually think I would agree. So next up, it'd only be appropriate to do the strawberry milk tea. This one is our go-to drink. Literally every time we go to CPT, I order this. Also this one, I got 50% sweet because I've gotten it at 100, I've gotten it at 80, and 50 is like the perfect sweetness for me for this drink. Hmm. Mm. I like that one. Literally perfection in a cup. Just the right amount of sweetness. You get the flavor from the strawberry. You get the flavor from the tea. Perfect amount of creaminess. It's just balanced. It has the perfect amount of the strawberry mixed with the tea and then the texture too to the top texture, it off. The texture, the slushy texture. Yeah. It's so nice. This one is better than that one. Mm. Although I will say the strawberry milk smoothie one has more of that pure strawberry flavor. So if you are like die hard strawberry fan, love everything strawberry, I'd say that one's for you. But if you want like a a mix between the strawberry and the milk tea, definitely this one. Also, I am not someone who orders strawberry milk tea at other places. Like if I saw strawberry milk tea on the menu, I would not order it, but they make their strawberry milk tea so good that I order it every single time. So I think it's pretty obvious. I'm gonna put this one at number one, Me too. where it belongs. Me too, I'm number one. I mean, it's number one. <laughs> Next up, we have the Taiwan Classic Milk Tea. And I know this one is one of their most popular drinks. So it's their normal classic black milk tea and it has three toppings. It has grass jelly, QQ noodle, and boba. And if you guys have never had QQ noodle in your drinks, you gotta try it. It's really good. You definitely have to try it. Basically like boba, but shaped like in noodle noodles. form. Yeah. It's a 10 out of 10 on the fun to eat scale. <laughs> Ooh, look at all those toppings. Whoa, the tea is not too sweet. It's actually more on the lesser sweet side. It's like just sweet enough. You really, really get the tea flavor. It's creamy and you have all those toppings. It's like a mouthful of toppings. It's almost too fun to eat. Too fun to eat? Yeah, almost too fun to eat. I didn't know there was such a thing. It's like at the border of like too fun to eat or maybe like really fun to eat. Cause it's like, it has so much toppings that when you suck it up, it's like, do I need that much toppings? I mean, you could like, pull up the straw and then get less Yeah, topics. but like, that, you know. The drink itself is good though. I mean, I personally, I'm not like mom who likes to get 95% toppings and 5% drink. Okay, so this is maybe mom would like. Mm, mom like. Mom like. <laughs> but may may not. not like as much because too much toppings. Mm. But you agree, the drink is good. Mm -hmm. The tea flavor is super present, so you definitely taste it, but it's not like bitter at all, mm. which is nice. And then it's also creamy and we got 80% sugar and that's like on the level of like not too sweet. So if you got hundred, I feel like it would be more like what we usually get. Yeah. And 80% is like for people who like things less sweet. Just the thing about TPT is like, it's so hard to gauge what sweetness yeah. you should get because some of their drinks run really, really sweet, sweet. like the strawberry milk tea, but then some of them run not as sweet. Like this one, I think at 100 would have been perfect for yeah. us personally, but 100 for the strawberry milk tea would have been like way too sweet. Yeah. The one thing I will say is I really enjoy TPT's QQ noodles. I just don't know if I love just having three toppings all at once. Mm -hmm. So this one, I think due to the too many toppings, which, you know, that's obviously a personal preference thing. I would put this one in third place. I would also put that there. Next up, we have a classic, the Jasmine Green Milk Tea. My favorite Jasmine Milk Tea is actually from Cool Tea Bar. So I'm excited to see how this stacks up. Is that really your favorite? Yeah, I like Jasmine Cool Tea Bar. <laughs> Good one. Mm. Wow, very florally, has such a strong jasmine flavor. Like you get the green tea flavor plus the floraliness of the jasmine. And there's like a little bit of bitterness, but not too much. And it's like the right amount of sweetness and it's the right amount of creaminess. It is a very creamy drink, I will give it that. It does have that floral tone, like you mentioned. This is like what jasmine milk tea should be. Like some places they make it too creamy or they make it too watery or like this tea flavor is not strong enough or it's too sweet, but this is like prime jasmine milk 
floral tea. So I agree. I think this has like really good floral tones, really good tea and creaminess. I don't know if it's just my memory, but I still have the cool tea bar in my mind. You know, it's like the in the back of your your mind is like, don't forget about me. And like I'm out over here, and I'm like, I, yeah, I haven't forgotten about you yet. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, and if you guys have never had the TPT boba, their boba is on the smaller side. Like, it's not small like mini boba is, but it's smaller than normal boba normal, that you right. might get at another boba shop. I would say it's like 75% the size of yeah. what a normal boba ball is. Yeah, I personally like that. I think the the smaller the boba is, the more fun to eat it Yeah, is. he likes the fun to eatness. Yeah. So for this one, I would put it above the Taiwan classic milk tea. For me, I would put this one above the strawberry smoothie. So this would be my second place. All right, next up we have the Tie Guan Ying milk tea, which is one of my favorite things to get at TPT as well. Usually I would order it with boba, but since we already have quite a few drinks with boba, I didn't want to go like super overboard. Or, yeah, overboard with the boba, especially because we're gonna save these drinks to drink throughout the week. And so if you save your boba in the fridge, it will get hard and it won't be good. Anyway, all that to say, we're gonna try the Tie Guan Ying milk tea. <laughs> Mmm. Whoa, that's a good drink. Oh my god, it's so good. If you guys have never had Tie Guan Ying tea before, it kind of has this roasted flavor, like Almost a like roasted bitter a little long bit. flavor ish. Mm. Yeah, a little bitter as well. And oh my gosh, it's just such a strong tea flavor in here. Perfect amount of sweetness, perfect amount of creaminess. Oh, so good. I'm gonna close my eyes and describe the taste to you. Okay. Tastes good. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> See, this is why even though the jasmine milk tea is really good here, I still always get the Tie Guan Ying over the jasmine. It just, it has that extra level of complexity. I would put this one right under strawberry milk tea. So number two. Mm. I think depending on the day, it, it could be one or two. But today, I'm gonna put it number one. You're gonna put it number one over I the am. strawberry milk tea? Yeah. All right, so next up, we have the TGY Family Milk Tea, which is Tie Guan Ying Family Milk Tea. So usually when a boba drink has family in the name, it means it has a lot of toppings. So yeah, this one is the same Tie Guan Ying that we just tried, but it has pudding, coffee jelly, and boba in it. And the reason I got them separate is because I was worried that the coffee jelly might like affect the, the flavor, flavor. Yeah. of this one. So I wanted to like compare them for you guys. You can see the coffee jelly, the boba, and the pudding in there. Whoa, hmm. my mouth just went on a roller coaster ride. <laughs> Very interesting. So like first you get that flavor of the Tie Guan Ying milk tea that we just had. It has that roasted oolong flavor with a little bitterness and it's like creamy. And then you get the chewy, the like really nice and chewy boba. And then the coffee jelly really adds this like earthiness flavor yeah. to it, you know? It's very interesting. You know, I actually usually am not a coffee jelly person, but I think it doesn't- Detract from it? Yeah, like it actually like complements it well, which I'm very shocked. For me, I like the flavor that the coffee jelly adds, but I don't like the coffee jelly texture. in it. Yeah, like I don't like that in it. The coffee jelly does add a very interesting texture to it. It's kind of like a crunchy jello, kind of. Mm -hmm. And then that contrasting the soft and chewy boba is just like a lot of like- A lot going on. The texture on. explosion yeah. in your mouth kind of thing. It's actually hard to get the pudding because it's like floating at the top. I don't know how to rank this one because like if it was just the flavor of the tea, it's good. I would like, yeah, I would like it, but I don't, I just don't know if I'm like crazy about like the combination of the tea plus the textures of the toppings. So I think I would put this one right below the strawberry milk smoothie. I'd probably put this one above the Thai tornado one. All right, next up we have the mango boba milk tea. And this one for some reason comes with boba in it. It's not a smoothie at all, right? Um, I think it's supposed to kind of be like a smoothie. Like I think mm. it's supposed to kind of be like the strawberry milk tea, but with, with mango gotcha. instead. Ooh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, this one's not that good. Mm -mm. What surprised me first was that the boba was hard. Yeah. But I think it's because, and it could be our fault, right? Because we let it sit and we right. tried it later. But it had like a slushy texture. And so the boba sat in there and got hard because right. it was cold. So that's like our bad. Because we know that TPT boba is usually good. I'm also not a huge fan of the flavor of this drink. Yeah, this one, the mango is not super strong. It's not that sweet, ripe mango flavor right. that I love about mango. And what I'm realizing is that I feel like I don't like the mango drinks at TPT. Because mm. we did 
didn't like the mango passion one. This one I'm not a huge fan. And the thing is, I love mango. Like right. mango is my favorite fruit of all time. So I thought this had to be a success. And surprisingly, it was not a success. <laughs> I would say if you really, really need like a mango fix and you're at TPT, I would go with the mango smoothie or yeah, the, the passion fruit. I'd rather have the mango passion fruit smoothie. This one, you don't get the tea flavor. No. The mango flavor is not strong. It's also not that like really sweet mango flavor that you love about mangoes, right. you know? It tastes like unripe mangoes. Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. Yeah, I think this one I would actually put in last place. Yeah, same here. All right, next up, we have the treasure taro milk tea. So it looks like they use the fresh taro at the bottom. It's just like taro paste. paste right. Yeah, and then I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like pudding floating around. It's really hard to capture the, it. The pudding is yellow too, right? So. Yeah. All right, let's mix that taro in. I got a mouthful of taro. Same. <laughs> The milk tea they use in here, I think it's jasmine. Is it? I can't really taste the tea. It has like the florally taste. Mm. Like you get the flavor of the milk tea right. and then the taro is kind of just like a topping. Well, maybe I should have got a hundred sugar. I got 80. Mm. Yeah, it's not very sweet. This it's one. not sweet. It tastes more like a 50% sugar than an 80% sugar. Yeah. So I think a hundred would be good for this one, but yeah. Would you ever order this by yourself? Like if it wasn't for a video, would you just like order this? Mm -mm. Yeah, me neither. I mean, I know there's people out there that love the real taro flavor though yeah. in drinks. So I feel like you guys should try it if you are one of those people. I feel like Asian moms would like this. I was gonna say that too. <laughs> like, I, I feel like my mom would yeah, like Yeah, your this mom drink. would like yeah. this, yeah. So for this one, I think you would put this right under the Thai tea tornado. I think I might put this below the mango passion fruit. All right, next up, we have the Thai milk tea, which I think is just basically like Thai tea. Bad. I mean, it does taste like how Thai tea is supposed to taste. And this one, I got 80% sugar. And you can definitely tell it's like Subdued. not as sweet. Yeah. yeah. I think it's not bad. Yeah. yeah I'm not mad at it. You definitely okay. get that classic Thai tea flavor. Ultimately, like if you are craving Thai tea, like you'd be fine with this one. Mm -hmm. It doesn't like blow me away, mm -hmm. but it doesn't disappoint me either. Yeah. It's just like, it is what you expect it to be. Personally, I just think that TPT has way more unique offerings than Thai tea. Like you can get Thai tea at a lot of different places and it will pretty much taste the same as this. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. yeah. So for me, I would put this one below the mango passion fruit smoothie. I think I'd probably put this one above the taro one that we just ate. All right, moving on. We are trying their tea lattes. If you guys are wondering what's the difference between their milk tea series and their fresh milk tea latte series, their fresh milk tea lattes actually uses like fresh milk, but their milk teas use creamer. Mm. So that's a common misconception about milk tea. They think it's just milk and tea, but it's actually creamer. Interesting. Tea. That's how they're able to get such a creamy look Texture. to it. Yeah. So for example, if you've ever tried to make milk tea at home and you just added milk to your tea, it'll look more watery mm. than at a boba shop usually because the boba shops use creamer. Wow. Learn something new every day. <laughs> so this is their signature black tea latte and it has this really pretty like gradient because they had the tea on the bottom and they had the milk on the top. So let's give it a shake. Oh. Mmm. Hmm. This has a really strong black tea flavor. Yeah. It's really nice. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness and the flavor of the black tea is really prominent and strong, but not bitter. So I guess like when you get the tea latte versus the milk tea, this one, it's like more focused on the tea flavor. Whereas their milk teas are more like a blend of the creaminess and creaminess, the tea. Right. Yeah. This one is more like you're drinking a strong tea and then there's like a splash of milk in there. You yeah. Know? Personally, I like the creaminess that comes from milk teas. Me too. This one is like if you're like I guess a traditional is like a tea lover mm -hmm. then maybe this is what you would go for yeah this drink is kind of like apple bottom jeans but without the fur and the boots <laughs> <laughs> is that song by t-pain no Florida oh this is like flow but without the rider <laughs> For me, I think I would put this one right below the Thai tea tornado. For me, I'd probably put this one right above the treasure taro drink. Well, next up we have the Tia Guan Ying Oolong Latte. Oh. <laughs> I like this one better than the last one. I like this one better than the last one. <laughs> 
<laughs> you actually like it better than the last one? I do. I like okay. it better than the last one. <laughs> it like has that tia guanying flavor that you love from the tia guanying milk tea, but it's like more subdued on the creaminess. Yeah, less you know? creamy. Like more of a refreshing vibe. Because sometimes when you drink milk tea, it can be a little much, like because of the richness of mm -hmm. it. So if you're looking for something more of like a, again, to the nuanced mm -hmm. palette, like this is more like a, on that yeah, spectrum. Yeah, that's true. So for this one, I would put it above the black tea latte that we just tried. Mm, me too. Next up, we have the premium jasmine green tea latte. <laughs> Ooh. Mm, this one I like actually. This one is actually surprisingly better than the other two. By a significant margin, I would say. Yeah. I think it's because the jasmine flavor, mm -hmm. it's it's florally, like despite the wateriness, it despite still shines. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, well, of course it's not as creamy as the milk tea. You don't like want the creaminess as much as the other two. Right. Like the other two you drink and you're like, oh, I wish it was creamier kind of thing. Right. But this one is like, oh, like yeah, it could be creamier, but like it also tastes really good still. Right. So for me, I actually think I would put this one above the Taiwan classic milk tea. I think I would put this one right underneath the Thai tea tornado. Finally, we made it to the last drink. Honestly, our energy level is very low after drinking 14 boba drinks. I've had enough boba for today. Yeah. Tomorrow is a different story though. But anyway, last drink is the winter melon tea latte. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but like it's not full. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I'm excited because we haven't had a winter melon drink yet. Today. No, I'm excited for this one. Mm, I like this one. I mean, I don't know if it's because this is our first winter melon drink. Like, I wonder if they had a winter melon milk tea if we would like that better. Mm. But like, the winter melon flavor is quite nice. Yeah. Very pleasant. I grew up on winter melon, did you know? I thought you grew up on honeydew. Yeah, that too. But growing up, I used to ask my parents to make dong gua cha. Yes, winter melon tea. Exactly. <laughs> So that's why I grew up on winter melon tea. It has like this nice sweetness flavor to it. I don't really know like how to describe it. It's sweet, earthy-ish flavor, but it's yummy. Yeah, it's just sweet. I think that's why I like it. But yeah, I think if this one had a milk tea version, I would like it a lot more, but this is still good. I think I would put this one right below the jasmine tea latte. For me, I put this one above the Thai tea tornado, I think. So here are our final rankings for our trying every TPT milk tea video. Don't forget to get this video to 8,000 likes if you want to see part two where we try the rest of the menu like the fruit teas, the matcha lattes, the non-caffeinated drinks, etc, etc. Comment below what your favorite drink from the video was or if you guys have a favorite drink at TPG, comment that below. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.